We are continuing with the light. We're talking about the light of Shabbat candles. And we already mentioned uh, previously that there's a knas, that there's some sort of penalty that if someone uh, uh, forgot to light the Shabbat candles, they're penalized to, uh, to, to add another Shabbat candle moving forward. The question is, so this happened on Shabbat, right? I have to add another one. The question is, let's say it's Yom Tov. Any holiday, right? We also light candles. Do they need to add another candle on Yom Tov or only on Shabbat? They were they had a knas, they had a penalty that they need to add another candle. Okay, they will. But on all the holidays, any holiday that we have, do they also have to light a candle or not? And the answer is yes, they do, because it's already within the system of their candle lighting, and so the knas, the the the, the sense of penalty is also added. However, if a woman forgot to light candles on Yom Tov, right? Not on Shabbat. On Yom Tov, does she now also have a knas? Does she mm -hmm. also now penalize for the future? And the answer is no, for a number of reasons. But basically also because normally, it's not that she was, uh, it's not that she was faulty in being negligent and having a sensitivity for lighting candles. Why? Because many times on Yom Tov, what, what do we say? Listen, anyways, you know, you light from one minute from candle to candle, Whatever, I'm still cooking, I'm still making things, I'm still preparing things, and so in our head, it's not that we are negligent, it's that we're in the mode of any ways I can. And therefore, it's not, it doesn't show a sense of her degrading or not having sensitivity to the candles on Yom Tov. And therefore, if she forgets on Yom Tov, what happens? She doesn't have to light another candle. What happens to a young, new, fresh couple? They just got married Shabbat, the first Shabbat of their wedding. Mazal Tov. Mm -hmm. Now she never, I'm saying it's nice, some young girls light Shabbat candles, but they don't have to because you really, you light it for everyone in the, in the household, right? So her mom would light it. Her, her mom would light the Shabbat candles. So she never really lit Shabbat candles. Now she's trying to get together with all the new things that she has to cope with. They moved into a house, they get all the things going on, Shabbat Chatan, and it's busy. It's the very first Shabbat. And she forgot to light the Shabbat candles. So first of all, don't tell your mother, no? <laughs> Secondly, is it a issue that she should get a knas or not? Should she be penalized or not for that? And the answer is she should not, and she is not, because what is the knas? What is the penalty? To say that, listen, you know your you know, Shabbat candles, something you light. And Chachami want you to be diligent about lighting it in the future, so you remember there's some sort of, there are studies also in rats. Do they remember positive, uh, uh, like a Pavlov effect, right? Do they, do they remember positive consequences or negative consequences even more? And we all know that we remember, we remember the negative consequences even more. Meaning to say if I press a button and I get candy, or if I press a button and I get zapped, I'll remember that much more than if I get candy. And therefore, I mean, maybe, you know, they already had this preconceived notion of the psychological input that they already knew from before. Either way, if it's a kalah, the first time that she liked candle, then she forgot, she does not get a kenas bukhar naib alam.